Hank? Hank, is that you? Yeah. What are you doing out here? Nothing. It's kind of late to be up doing nothing. What are you doing? Drinking my coffee. Can't you sleep? Growing boys neither sleep. I'm done growing. Would you like a sip of my coffee then? No. You gave me a scare, Hank. I'm not used to finding anybody out here. Would you like me to go back inside? No. Unless... Will your mom care? Uh, are you supposed to be out here? She's asleep. Well, I don't mind. Just don't let your Aunt Ruth know that I come out here at night. She'll get worried. She's not my aunt. Sure she is. No, she isn't. She's my great aunt. You're my aunt. Marvin's my grandfather. I've got this whole new family. <laughs> I guess so. It must seem kind of strange. No stranger than anything else. We're all glad you're here. Yeah, we should do it again in another 17 years. <sighs> do you like Florida so far? I haven't seen much. You know... We used to be able to see a patch of the gulf right through those trees over there. Where? Well, you can't anymore. They built that elementary school. I don't know where they thought the kids would come from. You can still smell the water, though. I can't. You can't? Maybe I just remember smelling it. Your mom and I haven't always gotten along. That's why I haven't been in touch. Uh-huh. You sure did a lot of hard work around here today. I was bored. I knew Dad's respirator shouldn't rattle like that. You just had to get those Monopoly hotel pieces that were crammed in there loose. <laughs> I wish you could have really known your grand... He liked having a boy around. Kind of jabber when I was in there. That's his way of talking to you. Kind of gave me the creeps. Well, he's been sick for a very long time. Don't you wish he'd just die? Hank, don't ask that. Why not? It's rude. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get tested. Well, hopefully your mom will be a match. Well, even if she is, is just... that why you were out here? Is that what you were thinking about? No. Okay. Then what were you thinking about? You don't have to tell me, of course. What were you doing with the toolbox? I was just looking at it. I swear I was going to put it back. I didn't think you were stealing it, Hank. You could have it if you want. Really? Sure. You're just giving it to me? Sure. No, you're really just giving it to me. Sure, why not? These are really cool tools. Are they? Yeah, they're ancient. That was your grandfather's toolbox. I think he'd like you to have it. Keep it, though. Who won't? The hospital. Well, you won't be in there forever. When I go back there, they're taking me to a place for adults. Why? I turn 18 in three weeks. Oh. I, happy birthday. You know, if the fire didn't spread down the street, this wouldn't have been such a big deal. Uh-huh. Or if burning plastic didn't give off noxious fumes. <laughs> now they want to make sure I'm not a threat anymore. You're not a threat. I'm sure they'll see that. You're probably the best one there. This one dude, he held a razor blade under his tongue for five hours. He talked to the orderlies and Nate and everything. Why on earth would he do that? Trying to beat my record. <laughs> Hank, what do you want to be when you grow up? I am grown up. When I look at you, I see a lost little boy. Then get your eyes checked. So, uh, Marvin like to fix stuff? Maybe that's where you get it from. He used to make your mom so mad. He'd leave the radio lying in pieces. And she used to like to turn it up real wild and dance wild around the house. <laughs> mom liked to dance? You bet. Hey. Who's this? Let me see it. 
that's your grandmother. She kind of looks like Mom. She favors her. Your grandfather used to keep this above his workbench. She's young. She was young. Do you want this too? Okay. Then I'll keep it. Did you know my dad? Uh, only a little. Doesn't your mom talk about him? I know he had a motorcycle. Did he? Yeah. Well, I know your mom was crazy about him. Did you meet him at the wedding? No. That was when I found out that I was going to pretty much be taking care of Dad and Ruth a lot longer than I was expecting. So, I moved back to sell off the rest of my things. Well, did they have you over for dinner or something? No. I just sort of stopped by. I was curious to see the guy that was taking up absolutely all of your mother's time. It wasn't much of a visit. He was asleep on the couch. And your mom didn't want to wake him, and she had just finished mopping the floors in the kitchen, so we stood in the hallway and talked for a bit. When I left, he was still asleep. Yeah, but how did he seem? He seemed nice enough. I don't think I'm going to get the test. How do you feel about that? Can I ask you why? No reason. Being outside here is different than being outside in the hospital. How? It seems bigger. I don't think your mom would want you out this late. Did Ruth thank you for fixing the garage door? Yeah. That was very nice of you. Nobody ever does anything to be nice. Well, that's what my therapist says. He does? Yeah, people just don't do things. They get something out of it. He says that? Yeah. And you believe him? Yeah. Well, why have I spent the last 20 years of my life down here? Because I enjoy it? Because I get something out of it? Yeah, or you wouldn't do it. No, hey, no, sometimes I can't even... No. First time I hear from you is when you need something. Hank, that is maybe not the you reason. Did it because maybe you thought you'd never land a husband. Or maybe you just wanted to hide out. When you're gone, a nursing home will do it for the cash. Your mom would not let them go to a home. Why not? She doesn't give a shit about anyone. Hank? Hank! What do you want me to do with this? You can keep them. You're my nephew, and I love you no matter what you've decided. Can I have your medical history cards, please? Who is going to be the brave one and go in first? I want to go in first. Can I? I don't care. What grade are you now in, Charlie? Uh, 11. That's good to hear. <laughs> um, Hank, is it? It says here that you're currently on lithium. Is that true? Uh, yeah. It's a great drug, isn't it? Uh. Let me ask you something. Have you noticed that you gained, like, a lot of weight since? <laughs> no. No? You'd be at home. No, I'm here. Where's your mom? She went to the mall. Where's Charlie? He's in back already. Are you here to be with Charlie? No, I'll probably get tested too. 
Nervous? No. You should have seen these offices a few weeks ago. They were infested with bugs. Bugs don't bother me. No? They crawl out of the drain in the boy's shower. They're in the lumber in the wood yard. They float in the soap basins in the sink. You get used to them. I wouldn't. Well, this one dude in my room, well, there's 12 of us in one room. And this one dude likes to catch bugs and put them on a leash. A leash? That's right, a hair leash. He pulls out a strand of hair and he ties it around one end of the bug and tacks down the other end under the bed. <laughs> he had a whole zoo walking down under there. Hank. Until somebody else came along and smashed him with a tray. It was funny. Sounds funny. Uh, well, it's not like anybody ate off the tray. It was an old tray, one we used to use to slide down the mud hill behind the seizure ward. Uh -huh. Oh man, you could go in so fast. This one dude's dad used to clock pictures for the National League East. Got me going 50 on his radar gun. That's fast. <laughs> well, until my tray shot out from under me and broke this kid's windpipe. We had to perform an emergency tracheotomy with a little piece of bark and a big pen. Uh-huh. It was something. Candy? No. <laughs> Why do you make up these stories? What? These stories, tracheotomies, razors under the tongue. I'm not making anything up. Why did you lie to me about getting tested? Why would you put me through I that? I could still walk out of here. Why do you tell me so many lies? I haven't told you shit. You don't know anything about that place. Then tell me. You don't know. Tell me. You don't know. I was in the hospital. It was boring. I was scared, and it was boring. This one dude, he was in the hospital? If this is another one of your tall tales, I'm not interested. Can you toss me one? Man, what magazine is this? Look, that's a human heart. Well, that's skin, that's an eye, that's a lung, that's a kidney. Played in a pool tournament in my ward. Did mom tell you? No. I got fourth place. It's true. She doesn't think it's a big deal. That's great. Got my toe broken in there. How? Guy threw a garbage can and landed right on my foot. Why would he do that? No reason I know of. Broken toes never heal. Does it hurt? Sometimes. A lot of drugs float around in that place. Do you take them? Most of the time I keep to myself. Most of the time I'm in my room. I've got a roommate, but most of the time he keeps his face towards the wall. Most of the time I think about, you know, what it would be like to be somebody in a magazine or on TV or somebody that could walk the grounds free. A lot of the time I think about getting this big old house with all this land around it, and I get a bunch of dogs. You know, no little dogs you may step on, but big dogs, <laughs> like a horse. And I'd let them run free. And I'd build a go-kart track and put that on my property. <laughs> Those places pulling the money, I'd be raking it in. And nobody would know where I was. I'd be gone. Most of the time, I just wish I was someplace else. Then why aren't you? Huh? Why aren't you someplace else? What do you mean? Do you want to be in there? No way. Then why are you? I don't have a choice. You're the one that told me people only do what they want. 
Yeah. So you must want to be in there. No, no way. Then show them you don't need to be in there. Well, it's not as easy as that. People start thinking of you a certain way, and pretty soon you're that way. So there's nothing you can do. It's just hard, that's all. I don't want you wasting your life in there. Neither do I. Then why are you in there? Because they put me in there. Why did they put you in there? Because I burned down the house. Why did you burn down the house? Hey, you want to come on back? We can get started on you while we're waiting for the anesthetic to start working on little Sammy. Charlie. I'm sorry, did I call you Hank? It must be these uh, extermare fumes. You want to come on back? Would you come with me? Sure, I would. Hank? <sighs> yeah. Do you ever think about actually dying? No, do you? No. Hank? Yeah? What do you want for your birthday? I don't care. I wish we never had to go home. Can you breathe like that? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Hank. Yeah? Are you excited for Disney World? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to bed. Forgot the creamer. And why are you drinking coffee so late? I like it. Why are you up? Guess I was thirsty. Did you find everything you need? <laughs> yes, thank you. The boys didn't need much at dinner. No. You have a way with Hank. I don't. You do. You have a way with him. He's a good boy. Is he? Sure he is. I wish I knew your secret. I just talked to him. Are you saying that I don't? I'm tired and we've got Disney World tomorrow. You know I could fix your wig for you. What? I could style it for you. I know how. Does it look bad? No. But if you've got a wig, you should have fun with it. Try different looks. Uh-huh. Something sporty or a 
sophisticated out on the town evening thing. I just brush it out every now and then. I've got a whole makeup kit down here too. <laughs> I don't bother much with that. You should. I mean because it's fun. And you never know when you might meet someone. Meet someone? Sure. A man? Yes, a man. I haven't thought about a man in years. You're lying. I'm sorry we haven't been getting along. When? At the nursing home? I don't remember anything about it. I don't want us to fight. I don't think we have been. I want us to get along. We do get along. I don't want us to just get along. I don't want us to be polite. I don't have a problem with that. I want us to... I want us to... <laughs> Not much seems important to me now. We're sisters. The past... We're sisters. I want you to know that... I do know. Uh, should we... He scares himself awake sometimes. He'll go back to sleep. Just sit quiet for a moment. Do you remember when Daddy used to drive us down to Miami for vacations? Two of us asleep in the back seat? How'd we fit? Tuna fish sandwiches sliding across the dash. Daddy had the talk radio on real low. It'd be so cold out. The gas man would run out from his warm office and pump our gas without bothering with a coat. The waitresses would lift me light as a feather and plop me down in the back of a booth. Everyone seemed so strong to me then. We were little. It seemed like such a long trip. Forever. <laughs> So, are you seeing anybody now? Usually. I hope you have somebody real in your life. I don't have much trouble with that. I'm not talking about that. You should be. There's no reason you haven't had love in your life. I think I've had plenty Ned. of love. There's no reason. You're not ugly, Bessie. Thank you? You're not. I knew lots of boys were interested in you. They just thought you were stuck up. Thank you. Well, if you'd given them any encouragement. I had a true love. You did? Yes. Did he know? Yes. You mean you had a boyfriend? Yes, I had a boyfriend. Why is it such news? How could I not have known about it? You didn't know him. Bart Mardik. <clears throat> no, not Bart Mardik. Why would you say that? I remember you used to stare at him out of the side of your face. No, I do not remember that. Well... Maybe I did, but that was because he had that lazy eye, not because it was anything romantic. <laughs> Who then? You didn't know him. You can tell me, Bessie. It's not like I'm going to tell anybody. Clarence James. Who? I told you you wouldn't know him. How could I not know him? He was only around in the summers. You went with a carny work. He was a very nice person. I didn't say anything. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I didn't say anything. Daddy would have killed you. Well, he's never going to know. There were some cute ones. He was cute. Which one was he? He mostly ran the Ferris wheel. Uh-huh. I knew he liked me because he always gave me an extra turn. That's sweet. This one time, he left my car hanging at the top until I started to cry. He was a flirt. He had these big ears. I remember him. He was cute. He always said he was probably from England because of his name. Clarence James. He always made a big deal of his manners. He had the funniest laugh. He'd open his mouth real wide and no sound would come out. He was only around about three summers? Four summers. And then he stopped coming. That's right. What happened? Nothing like you think. What happened? They would always have this picnic down by the river. This year there was kind of a cold snap, so everyone was bundled up. 
Clarence, hail the night. He likes to be the center of attention. Clarence goes swimming anyways. <laughs> and he knows everyone is watching him. His family, his friends, me. And he bites up out of the water, laughing and making that monkey face, which gets all of us laughing. And then he dunks under and he bobs up someplace else, laughing even harder, which gets us laughing even harder. And then he dives under again, and he doesn't come up. And he doesn't come up. And he doesn't come up. Laughing and choking look the same on Clarence. <laughs> he drowned right in front of us. Every time he'd come up for air, there we were, chuckling and pointing. <sighs> what could he have thought? <laughs> Bessie, you should have told me. I couldn't tell people I had a carny boyfriend. I couldn't tell them my carny boyfriend drowned. You should have told me anyway. We were never that close. Weren't we? No. Do you want me to do something with that wig? What? I don't know. Let me look at it. Oh, no, you have to take it off. Oh. I won't hurt it. This is a nice wig, Bessie. It's nicely ventilated. We could do something with this. Do you want me to? Sure. I, I'm glad we made this trip. I only wish we could stay longer. This is a nice weave. Bessie! Ruth? Oh, Bessie! Ruth! I went by your room and you weren't there. I'm here. Oh, the room was empty. Oh, I'm was here. Empty. Oh. I'm here. one now, Charlie. All right. <laughs> You've got a good, steady hand, Charlie. Not like me. <laughs> Just don't put it on too heavy, okay? Okay. Now, I don't mean to tell you what to do. No, tell me. You know, Charlie, I am so excited to, to dress up for something. I can't remember when the last time I had an occasion to get dressed up. Today's the day. I know. You know, they were going to get married once before, but the church caught fire. Is Coral the same character who shot Lance's dad in the head? Mm-hmm. And now they're getting married? Well, you know, he lived, and, well, she just felt awful about it. All right, well, how's that? Well, let's see. Oh, that's a good job, Charlie. You look very pretty. Ooh. Oh. If I look anything at all, it's because you're such a big help, Charlie. Charlie, where's Hank? I want him to move the TV into the other room so Bessie can watch with us. Um, I can get it. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, it's awful heavy. <laughs> Let me see, Ruth. Oh. You're beautiful. Oh, don't make fun of me. I'm not. I'm just a silly old lady dressing up for a TV show. You are not. I'm going to go make some snacks so we won't be getting up during the program. It's becoming quite a production, isn't it? I'm so excited. Is everybody going to watch? Oh, I don't know if Hank is. What? I don't know where he's got to. Oh, I can go find him. It's so nice to have you up and around, Ruth. It must be wonderful to be rid of constant pain. Yes, yes. Although, sometimes I do miss it. Oh, wait. <laughs> 
What are you doing up? I'm getting dad. It's one o'clock. I was going to do that. I can do it. You're supposed to be taking it easy. I am. Uh, do you want something to snack on? Better just cut me up some fruit. Hello? Oh, hello, Dr. Surratt. What is it? It's Dr. Surratt. He wants to talk to you. Hello? Oh, you did. Great. What is the, uh, the, uh, I see. I see. Uh-huh. So should I keep taking what I'm taking now? No, I understand. I'm, I'm not. Thank you, Dr. Surratt. Goodbye. They got Hank and Charlie's test results back and it looks like it didn't work out. Oh, Bessie. It's what we expected. We knew the odds were against it. Maybe we should do them again. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe, but I don't. They say I should continue the therapies that I'm doing now and see what luck I have. That's right. Those are good things to be doing. I was in the middle of doing something. What was I? Oh, and dead. <laughs> oh, do you want to lie down? No, I'm fine. I, I can do this, Charlie. <laughs> it's what we expected. It's not a surprise. It's what I always had in the back of my head. And now I don't have to think about it anymore. I can go thinking about it. Thinking about it. Uh, we should tell Hank. Uh, Charlie, where's your brother? He's got to be around here somewhere. Hank? <sighs> Hank ran away. What? He ran away last night. Charlie, no. He told me to give this to you. I didn't read it. Aunt Bessie. Gone someplace else. Goodbye. Good luck. I love you too. Hank. He said he was sorry he couldn't wait. Charlie, we, we have to tell your mom. Bessie, I promised that I wouldn't tell until tonight. She needs to know. But I promised. Do you want me to tell her? I promised. It's the last thing I said. Why don't you go outside? There's nothing to be afraid of.
Charlie, hurry up, Charlie, the show's about to start. Here, let me do this for you.